Hello, HempKnight79 here with part two of my XCOM Enemy Within uh, Let's Play. And as we left it last turn, we did a few missions and we left it on our first UFO crash site to do. Now, looking through my squad, uh, I've gone through, I've just customised everything really. Uh, it's just the way I like to do it. All my uh, supports white, heavies red, all my snipers black. They all tend to have the same helmet, so they all have the same look. Just leave recruits as they are. Now, this is my last recruit. Uh, to level up, so I'm going to level this one up, and uh, hopefully we should have a good mission again. Get a bit more meld here as well, we I think. Visual on the mission site, setting down. Uh, let's go. Listen up, we're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. Look around, let's see what we've got. We'll monitor those readings from here. Uh, right, so there's the edge. To assault the alien craft. Where's the other edge? There. Uh, the crash site's probably around here somewhere. So we'll just move forward. Um, right, let's find the cover. It's all soft cover. Hmm. Move the support first. There's an enemy in sight there, where is it? There it is. This could be cheeky. Let's do it like this. Let's see how cheeky we can be. Will I get a kill there? No. I don't think I will. I won't even take any cover out there. Damn it. Right, so they're there, so let's move here. Let's move the sniper into here. I'm on it, Commander. I can't overwatch with a sniper, but I can hunk it down. Uh, this Moving to position. There. Overwatch. And you. And there. I've got a visual. Ah, shit. Pulled. Target still up. So he's in trouble Watch where he's at, flags. so I need to find some decent cover for him. Alright, so if we see what they can see. There's one here, one here. This could be dangerous. Headed there now. We'll head there. I'm gonna give him some smoke cover. I don't wanna get shot straight away. <laughs> now ideally I'd like to be leveling the snipers up because once you get a sniper with the squad site, oh, they're fantastic. The recruit gets hit again. That's twice she's been hurt. And okay, let's see. What's going to be the best approach here? Sniper. Yeah, take him out. Some sniper that is. Yeah, not good at all. Useless ass wipe. <laughs> There'll be a lot of that in this list, let's play. So let's see, 25%, 45. I've had uh, better luck on 45. So two damage, not bad. You, where can you go? Let's move this one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that. I could kill the one it behind. And we'll use the heavy now. Um, Let's move the heavy there. See if I can get a better angle. No, I can't. I've put myself into a bit of a bad position there. Um, 
Got a grenade over there? Nope. Hmm. Not sure where to move this one now. I'm gonna go back where I was. Commander. They're falling back. I'm actually going to run the heavy. We'll try, and, we'll try and get some flanking positions going now. Rolling. Ideally, I'd like to get an overwatch with the sniper, but uh, just hunk it down. On the move. This should be a good shot. Let's get the kill. Yeah, there we go. At least the recruit, uh, the rookie, got the kill. It's this meld over here. And there's the ship. So let's see which way we're going to approach. Let's move the sniper up now. We'll just run him up. Running. Put him there. There now. Reload. It's killing time. And you. Where to put you? So let's have a look at the support first. Put you there. That's a bit of cover. Oh, wrong way. All right. So there's the ship. Couple more enemy packs, I think. So I'm going to overwatch. Let's get the heavy moving forward. Running. I am just going to run here. Um, I don't usually like doing this, but uh, I've got good sight now. So All right, we'll use you here. On the move. Into here. To I maybe should have moved him there first. Where's my sniper? Uh, this useless. Ten four. Get the sniper into good cover here. Really like to get a kill on the sniper, to be honest. Uh, I, I, I want to get them leveled up. I'll move the support forward now. Level Overwatch. Level Overwatch. <laughs> Oh, we lost the meld. Didn't get there quick enough. Oh, it was that one. Damn. Oh well. Position confirmed. X-rays coming in from the sides. Kill that one. I'm just going to dash up here. X rays gesichtet. There they are. Maybe shouldn't have dashed. That's going to give me. Yeah, I'm going to get shot there. And. Move the sniper to there. And let's move the recruits up. To position. Let's get an overwatch. the other meld. I'm under fire. Please sniper get the kill this time. That's a miss. Missed. Useless. I'm gonna go for the shot on that one first. There we go, that's both of them dead. 
Funny my meld like that, if you kill one, it's like psychic feedback and it kills them both. Mission and there we go. Shame we only got one canister, but uh, one's better than none. And at least that way, we're uh, we're a bit safe. I took a bit of damage on the rookie. Well, it's, it wasn't much, it was only two, so it's only mildly wounded. Nine days, though. Wow. And it's a support. Got a lot of support. Okay, so let's see, what do we got? Power source, two computers. So we've got a damaged power source. We have medals okay. available in the barracks, Commander. If you feel any soldiers merit an award. So we've got to the grey market. These there's no points, you might as well just sell them. Okay. And now then. Engineering. Build facilities. Okay, me satellite uplink. Can I build that yet? No, I need the engineers. Um, I'll build the power in there. So there's nothing I can build. Do I hire some more troops? Might be an idea. So I'll hire three more rookies. And they will get to me in three days. Mission control. Let's see if we've got another abduction. Okay, so we'll assign a new research. So we can now build a scope. Maybe should have saved some money and got the scope. Um, alien nav computer, 20 days. Nye. Beam weapons, no. Warfare, no. Any materials, no. Let's go for xenobiology now. That would be a priority research task. Okay, we've got our guys. Oh, there's the cybernetics. Fantastic. So we need some money. Nine, uh, two scopes. We we'll get three engineers. Nice. So we'll just hold that off. Twenty. Uh, nine days. And we've got an abduction site. We're tracking several reported abductions. Money is what we need. I've got the coordinates locked in. Okay, a nice recruit there. Um, right, before we do that, so we've got Europe, Asia, South America. So Europe, Asia, South America. Everywhere will be fine. So, mission control. Let's go with the money, I think. Okay, so we'll just clear these out now. Got our rookies, I think. Yep. So we'll take the rookies. In fact, no, let's wait. Clear unit. I want the sniper leveled. So we'll take out a sniper and I'll take out three rookies. Oh, where's that? Uh... There we go. Rookie, 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 squad, yep. Let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Australia has sent a number of requests for assistance. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike okay, one. Let's see what we've got. Can we see any of the meld yet? No. 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 Looks like we're going in through that door. Here we I'm go. Oh, we played this one earlier. But we, we started on the other side. I don't like that position. Aye, aye. Stack up at the door. Okay. Overwatch. Ten four. Maybe should have moved into the roof, but uh, Overwatch. And we'll Overwatch. 
Right, we've got Meld on the roof. So, sniper to the roof. On the move. Through the window. There we go. That's two. Twenty-five percent. Should have overwatched before I moved in. Um, will they get a shot on me? I don't know, but we'll overwatch. Heading out. Take the shot. Could be in trouble here. Oh, shit. So that should be a side link to give him 2 HP. He's going to shoot at that rookie. Hopefully it doesn't crit. Yep, we shoot at the rookie. Ah, we, we lost one and one panicked. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Oh well, it happens. Time to motor. Alien object in sight. I'll get the meld next turn. There's no overwatches here, so. 43. No. Grenade. Okay, so that's them both dead. So the room's clear, so I'm just going to dash through here, run through. I'm really upset about that guy dying, but such is life. Or such is XCOM, should I say. You lose guys, you know, it's one of those things. I'll hunker down there because I'm only in uh, half cover. And you. Oh, they're coming behind us. Okay, so let's find the cover to go to. If they're there, that's not going to be good cover. Or is it? Moving to designated coordinates. A sniper has been pretty useless. Okay, she hasn't got much, so let's move her there. 45% we've seen these hit, so let's try it. Two. Not the nothing. Well, I could end up forcing. Rolling. I'm going to try the one at the back. And a miss. Negative damage. So there should be a side link here to give him two HP. So this one. Should be pretty well covered unless he moves here. Which it's going to. Yeah, it's going to shoot it. This one down here. Him. It's fine. Copy that. Let's just. Uh... Rolling. Switch to the pistol for this shot. I might get lucky and get a critical. 
No, no critical. You can't crit with the pistol, that, right? Two damage. Damn it. Well, you. No. Yeah. Let's try. There we go. Chalk up another one. Right, bro. We got both the meld. I lost an operative. That's a shame. Well, that's what you get for, you know, I, I took the risk. I moved forward, he didn't do enough damage to get the kill, so... And it was only in half cover, so it, it caused, yeah, you, you know, you're going to lose some. Right. So we've just got another medal, and a defender's medal. Brill. And we got 200. So we'll now have a look at the situation here. So Canada and Mexico is looking pretty bad. Uh, Xenobiology, council report eight days, straight into the activity scan. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause mirror... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Okay, so we've now got Xenon Biology, so we need to construct the facility, research the arc thrower, build an arc thrower, catch an alien, and interrogate the alien. Ooh, a bit of reading to be done there. Never mind. <laughs> Not going to bore you with that one, guys. So, new facility, we can build the alien containment. So the arc thrower is 12 days, alien materials is normal. Let's see. We'll go with alien materials I'm next. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is need some more scientists are hoping to really. accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. The soldiers who volunteer for mech trooper augmentation sacrifice much. But they do not leave themselves entirely behind. A mech trooper will be able to apply some of the training and knowledge from his or her previous combat specialty to the cyber suits operation. Okay, so I'm going to, in this here, this was the plan. We we're going to build the power generator. I'm now actually going to convert a soldier we'll to a to mech. And it was, so let's have a look. Suits. Nearby allies receive plus 10 defense. And implant our soldiers with a cybernetic interface of Sniper, what do they get? Any shots taken without moving plus 10 aim? No. I'll be moving a lot with the mech, so that's not going to be really do. So that's support. Let's have a look. The heavy, what does the heavy get? Can you have anybody? Hmm. Could be an inter interesting one. And the assault. Now that could be a good one. Uh, shock absorbent armor. I could play with two mechs, I suppose. And hmm, not sure now. We'll do the support first. Nearby allies plus it. Yeah, that it boosts the the team more. We'll consult with Dr. Valen but what I will do, I will get and begin installing the another one. Suit interfaces as soon as possible. And we'll do a assault. So I've got an assault. And we've 
got the things coming in 126. Let's have a look at the facility building again. Uh, I'm going to build that now. 50. I can't really warrant that at the moment. I need how much for a satellite uplink? 100. Genetics lab, not yet, because uh, I'm, I'm focusing the meld on the mechs, really. Uh, I'm going to put the alien containment there. Foundry there. It's workshop, workshop. Let's excavate and excavate. Yeah, let's build the access lift. Sorry. That gives us access to this so I can get some good power going. Uh, so I'll actually cancel that. And we'll build... Do you know what? I might actually pop the genetics lab in there. Yeah, I'm going to stick the genetics lab in there. Or am I? No, I'm not. No, no, no. Ugh, cancel. Yes. Why can't I build a laboratory? So I'll probably pop a laboratory in there. Hmm. Eventually three next. So they're coming down. See, I'm rushing to try and get down here. So just get all the lifts done and then I can move through here, excavate once. And I'm going to put, once I research and I get the satellite nexus, I'm going to put all the nexuses down at the bottom. And that will be give, that, as I said earlier in the first part, that will be enough to cover the, the, the whole game then. Um, then I can take these out and use this block here for genetics and laboratories. I'm going to put a foundry in there, two workshops see what else we get later on. So I'll just excavate at the moment and make sure that everything's ready. Uh, so mission control, let's go for another mission. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. For, what's this? Right. So our troopers are augmented. The cybernetic interfaces are holding stable. But they're of no use without a cyber suit to interface with. I suggest we manufacture one immediately. When our new mech trooper equips that suit, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with its capabilities. Oh yeah, we got the suits. I have not got, <laughs> with all the construction I've done, I have not got enough money for this now. Ah, well, we will have so soon. Okay, so let's go to mech inventory. Right, let's build a mech. So we've got kinetic punch strike module, a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies, also boosts mobility. I'm going to go with a flame because I'm going to be using this on the support first. So, yeah, we've got the flamethrower. Our cyber suits have faced the trials of battle and were proven effective. As we continue to deploy our mech troopers, they will grow more accustomed to the suits. And if fortune is with us, help put an end to this conflict. Okay, I'm going to build a scope because, um, yeah, I'm going to build a med kit. I so will have a support with a med kit. Uh, satellites for right, that'll do. Uh, the scope is for the sniper. Um, seeing how he couldn't hit a frigging barn door earlier, might as well give him plus ten aim. Um, I might as well launch a satellite now, and we'll stick it over the United States. Satellite uplink facilities at okay. maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. We'll need to make sure that uh, if we do now get, you see, this is a problem. If we get Europe and America, I'm going to lose Russia. So hopefully we don't get a mission now. Uh, council reports in four days. Okay. Two days. And there's a council report. Fantastic. So we survived. We didn't lose anybody. And. Uh, Putting the satellite up in America for the extra 180 a month was definitely the best option there. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. 
And that is not yeah, a great day. Brilliant. So we've got an extra scientist, two engineers. 591. Remember, Brill. We so we've got money watching. to spend. So we'll go back. And we'll go to engineering now. So we'll build facilities, satellites. So we're doing construction of that. Um, right, so we need power. We'll excavate there. This is going to slow me down a bit, actually. No, so there's that. So it's just power that we're lacking. That's all right, so we'll save a bit of money. Build the access lift. Why not, why not, why not? Oh, two power. So we've got no power at all. We'll excavate. I'm not, I'm gonna cancel that one, but we'll get these going. All right. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Request from Europe. What was the request from Europe? Two scopes and we get three engineers. Yeah, I'll go for that. So we'll go to engineering, build items, scopes, manufacture another two. Oops, two. Okay, situation recruit, pending requests. Dispatch items. Brill. So let's go back to engineering. Arrived this morning, Commander. Let's see if any of this is cheaper. Down here. No. So that was a hundred, wasn't it? That's still a hundred. All right. So it doesn't look like they get any cheaper. Power, so it's five days, and yeah. Okay, so the research. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, what Commander. Are we going for? I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. I think it was only a nav computer. I'll probably do it. Oh, 17 days now. Oh, sectoid autopsy. In fact, I'll go for the arc thrower next. Once alien materials is done, we'll we'll uh, train up the arc thrower. And we'll start capturing aliens. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need the power before I do that. So there's no point in researching that. So I might as well research a few other things. Mouse is busted. Second. Oh dear. There we go. And yeah, we'll go for a mission. Right, so let's have a look at this. Nano fiber vest. Okay. Carapace armor, 24 days, no, no, no. I'll begin this project. I might as well get ready for it. Satellite coverage now available over the investigation complete. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Now really I need some scientists, but a, a sergeant sniper would be... would be brilliant. I, I get the squad sight, I get the improved pistol. So what we got? Africa, Europe, and North America. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Having a think here, so it's 13 and 8. Yeah, um, we'll go for this one then. Mexico, in fact, let me just check something here if it's a very hard one. K 
Can I upgrade? Yes, squad size. And wet work, what's this? Iron will. Soldiers receive a lot each time they're promoted. We'll purchase that. We're going to need some money at some point, so let's see if we've got anything on the grey market we can sell. Not selling those, they're quite important. <laughs> uh, right, so... I want the extra will. It just stops people from panicking. Right, so we'll just clear all these out. And uh, let's set the squad up. Get ready to go. So we'll take our sniper out. I'm going to put a mech trooper in here. No, not that one. It was the sergeant, wasn't it? It was this one. So we'll edit this unit, load out. The flamethrower stream will burn not only the cone our mech trooper targets, but will spill into nearby areas as well. Right, fantastic. Um, yeah, we've got the minigun. Right, abilities, let's see what we've got. So, collateral damage, area of effect, attacks that destroy most covering hits, elbow types, 34% damage. This attack cannot cause critical hits. Right, collateral damage, yeah, we can remove cover. Advanced as a shots from Overwatch. Right, and confers. No, well, so we'll go for that one. So, we're not taking a name penalty while in Overwatch. Oh, further damage will be reduced. Yeah, there we go. So that'll make him a bit more tanky. Or her, should I say. Okay, we've got a nice bit of defense on our team now. Should get really easy now. Uh, let's go with a heavy. Go with a support. Take your med kit. Oh, customize. I always go for the same sort of color on these, so I know which one's which. Just so I can easily identify them as I'm moving through. And the helmet I like on my supports is that one. And we'll pop an assault in here. So edit this unit. Abilities, let's make sure he's got the run and gun. Fantastic. Load out. Okay. And we'll customize. I like blue for my uh, assaults. And the helmet is like a, a gnarly looking one, hopefully. That one. Yeah. And edit you. I need to give you your scope. Right, that's a nice little squad, uh, but what I will do, I'll stop this uh, part of the Let's Play here uh, again, so that I'm starting the next one on a battle. Uh, so, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the series. Um, I really enjoy this game, and if you've, if you've not actually got this game, uh, I know a lot of you are, are more watching of, of the Total War series, but if you've not got this game, it's worth getting. Um, it's keep an eye out on Steam. Uh, I mean, it's it's about thirty bucks at the moment, um, but quite often it goes on sale on Steam and it drops really, really low in price. Or, I mean, if, if you if you can't wait for the sale, rather than just buying it directly through Steam, if you have a look on my YouTube channel and under the description, there's a link there to G2A. Um, if you don't know about G2A.com, G2A is like a, a discount game, uh, the legitimate copies of games. Um, you know that you're not going to get in trouble for anything uh, for buying them from there. I don't know how they get their cheap games, but they do. But they're usually about 10-15% less than what they would be on Steam. Have a look. Uh, if you use my link as well, I get a little kickback. Um, and the, the you know the more I get activity through that G2A, um, I can then start offering people extra discounts as well. So you know if it's a game that you think you might buy, yeah, pop over to G2A.com, uh, follow the link, pick up the game. Definitely worth buying. Um, the enemy within that I'm playing here is actually a stand well it's an add-on so you'd need to get uh, enemy unknown and then you'd also need to so it gets a little bit more expensive but I think for the pair of them I paid 25 pounds for both uh, enemy within and enemy unknown and a few other add-ons as well 
and you know it's definitely worth getting used to it because XCOM 2 is going to be out next year and February the 5th I think next year so that's one of the reasons I picked it up because I really like the look of XCOM it was just one of those things so I'm trying to get used to the game and get ready for it for when XCOM 2 comes out and uh, we can get stuck in and, and have some fun um, so yeah thanks very much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video bye bye